Hello, I'm Susan Baida, founder of eCareDiary.com, and I'm very so excited to be at the Family Caregiving Summit uh, here at the New York Academy of Medicine. The summit is being sponsored by Emblem Health, and I have the pleasure of interviewing a number of speakers who are um, uh, invited to speak at the event, and I'm very pleased to introduce you to Carol Levine, who is the Director of Families and Healthcare Project at the United Hospital Fund. Welcome. Thank you, Susan. I'm happy to be here. It's great to see you. And I wanted to ask you about some initiatives uh, at the United Hospital Fund. Uh, so what transitions, uh, this is all about family caregivers. What, why are transitions such as going from hospital to home so difficult for families? Well, transitions in care are very difficult because there's been a crisis. If you've been had to go to the hospital, you've already been in a crisis. Yeah. And then hospitals today are very eager to get people out, and hospitals are not great places to be. But there's not enough time to really prepare people for what's going to be coming next and how to handle it and whether there's going to be home care, what to do when home care ends. So it's very upsetting and very anxiety producing and so family caregivers already overwhelmed now have this new set of circumstances to deal with and unfortunately the healthcare system is not really good at, at handling transitions with family caregivers. So uh, tell us what is uh, the United Hospital Fund doing to help family caregivers through that and patients through that yes. transition? Well since 1996 we have uh, created um, uh, the Families and Healthcare Project really focusing on transitions in care, trying to build partnerships with healthcare providers and family caregivers to ease these transitions. And the primary uh, mechanism we have used, we've done a lot of things, but we have a website called Next Step in Care, www.nextstepincare.org, and we have now over 25 guides for family caregivers on how to manage different kinds of transitions. They're free. They're in four languages, and they really help people go through the process of what do you need to know before a hospital discharge, what do you need to know about rehab, what do you need to know about um, home care. So they are very uh, easy to follow guides. They don't answer every specific question, but they give you the lay of the land, and that's what people need at that time. That's incredible because I, I can tell you there's so much anxiety about uh, leaving the hospital and having all that uh, attention and care from professionals right. and then to be on your own <laughs> with your family well, member. When I was a family caregiver for my late husband, I remember leaving rehab. Um, he was totally disabled. And they said, oh, goodbye, you're on your own now. What? <laughs> you know, what do you mean I'm on my own now? I don't, know how to, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. So, yeah, it's really, really hard. Can you repeat the uh, website? Absolutely. www.nextstepincare.org. So tell us uh, other ways in which the website is able to help family caregivers, what, uh, maybe some details about some of the resources right. on the site. Well, we, ha we, we have, in addition, we have a provider set of guides. So we want to train providers, too, to work with family caregivers. But we have um, a list of resources, both national, state, and local. And there, you know, those are places that people go to for more information. We have a glossary, a list of terms, because one of the problems is people, caregivers don't understand the language. And not just the medical terms, but the policy terms, the Medicare terms. What is something medically necessary? What does that mean? Things like that. So we have that kind of resource. And we have a, a number of other different things. And we do periodic um, updates so we try to keep on top of what's happening sounds outstanding well thank you for sharing that and uh, i've also see that you've written a book here and uh, it's by carol levine it's called living in the land of limbo which uh, as a former cam family caregiver myself i can totally <laughs> relate you know to that uh, title yes. yes tell us yes. a little bit about it well the book is actually i've edited the book it's fiction and poetry about family caregiving and while I was caring for my late husband for 17 years, I found myself reading a lot. And I was reading fiction, I was reading poetry, and all of a sudden I said, wait a minute, these are stories about family caregivers, but they're not collected in any place. So I worked on that over a number of years, and this was published by Vanderbilt University Press in um, a, few, a month ago. 
and I'm very excited by the response in which people feel the humanity in these stories and respond to that. Um, so it's been very exciting. Well, we're very excited, and uh, we'll have you uh, invite you to our radio show to talk a little bit more I'd about the book. Delighted. We're so excited about it, thank you. and congratulations. Thank you. Well, Carol, thank you very much for speaking with us today on uh, the eCareDiary.com video show. Uh, here at the Family Caregiving Summit at the New York Academy of Medicine, sponsored by Emblem Health. Thank you.